We began with a call to action after another teenager is shot and killed on the streets of Philadelphia. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Cartalia. 16 year old Ajon AJ Jackson was shot outside of East Oak Lane home when police say he was ambushed. He and his twin sister had just finished their shift at McDonald's. Jasmine Payute is live at police headquarters with how gun violence is affecting principals trying to keep their students safe. Jasmine? Yuki, Jess, good evening. It goes without saying there's a gun violence crisis in Philadelphia. And according to one principal, it's making the job tougher and tougher. Burning candles light this dark intersection Wednesday night as neighbors mourn another child shot and killed in Philadelphia. In this community, we thought it was a, it was a quiet, laid back community, but look what's, what's happening now. This memorial in memory of Ajahn A.J. Jackson. Police say three gunmen, all dressed in black, shot the 16 year old more than 10 times as he stood near his twin sister. The violence unfolding on East Fairston Drive around 11 o'clock Tuesday night. It really shook my wife up. She was like, wow, I didn't believe this actually happened in front of our home. Police say the teens were returning from their shifts at this nearby McDonald's. When he wasn't on the clock, the school district says he was an 11th grade student at Randolph Tech High School. His principal says he was in school hours before the shooting. Honestly, like right now in this exact moment, I'm very tired, right? Like, I'm tired of having this conversation. Leando Dunn is the principal at Simon Gratz Charter School. He didn't know Jackson, but knows what his school community is feeling far too well. This year, we've lost four young people to gun violence. This past school year, we lost six young people to gun violence. And this is happening at such a reoccurring rate. According to Philadelphia police, 37 people under the age of 18 have been killed so far this year. This compared to 28 in 2020 and 12 in 2019. I want the city to say this is a priority that we are focusing on, and we're going to put all of our resources and efforts behind making sure there's not one young person lost. This is still a very active investigation. Police do believe the victim was targeted, but at this time, they don't know why. We're live at police headquarters. Jasmine Payute, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Jasmine, thank you.